Hi, I'm Kenya Claiborne, and this week on The Stylist, we caught up with Nike to get a sneak peek at Jordan Brand's newest collection for her. We also got a taste of LA's best new restaurants, and we're taking you Black in the Day in honor of Black History Month. Jordan Brand is giving guys sneaker envy with the debut of their highly anticipated season of her collection. Re-envisioning the 1985 Air Jordan Classic with ladies in mind, the collection combines satin fabrics mixed with premium suede and three styles that are both fashion forward and fit for the streets. We got a sneak peek at the brand's first ever dedicated women's collection of shoes for spring 2018 at the Future of Flight event in Los Angeles. We spoke with brand manager Seema Simmons to get the inspiration behind the new female focused collection. We are at the Jordan Brand's Future of Flight and I am talking here with Seema, who is the Senior Director of Women's Shoes in Nike. And I want to know about this particular shoe. Of course. So this shoe, it's the HA1 Explorer. It's part of the Ones Reimagined collection. So it's really about taking an iconic silhouette, the HA1, and reimagining it through her lens. And so this one was inspired by using transparent materials and layering, and then also giving her versatility. This is huge that Jordan has like a line for women just for us. Like how long, like when did this brainchild develop and how did it manifest? Yep. So we've been working on this for um, a little while now. So hearing from girls that they want something just for her. We know that they love the Jordan brand and we are excited to serve her in a different way. Um, so we're super excited for Spring 18 to launch this collection and it is just really the beginning. We joined Los Angeles Magazine to celebrate culinary excellence with some of the best new restaurants at their annual event. We got a taste of signature dishes from LA's most appetizing new restaurants, including Above 71, Rosaline, Wolf, Cali, and we even got the scoop from some of our favorite chefs. We are here with Chef Marcel, runner-up of season two of Top Chef. Congratulations on the opening of Wolf. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> now, tell me the story behind the name. So, uh, the name is basically an homage to my mom. Mm -hmm. uh, Wolf is the meaning of my mother's maiden name. Uh, and so I thought appropriate since she was the person who like got me into cooking in the first place. So what's kind of like the inspiration behind like the menu and the cuisine? Like what can people expect when they go to Wolf? Uh, so it's the menu is basically dishes that are derived through like my creativity but also yeah. through my travels but heavily influenced by what's in season at the market and all the local farmers. So people that have never been to the restaurant before, what can they expect and what are some of the must-haves on the menu? I think definitely it feels very celebratory when you arrive. I mean, the restaurant is extremely grand. Uh, it's captivating. You know, it's a, it has a certain aesthetic during the daytime, but it's very magical at night. You know, you're above, you're above everything in the city, lights twinkling everywhere. It's incredible. Uh, you know, you're definitely there for an experience. Uh, it's a course menu. A few items that are must-haves, oyster. Uh, farm egg, octopus is always a big hit. Um, you know, and we also do a lot of things as a restaurant that are based around building people's experience without necessarily charging. Mm -hmm. You know, we sell black truffles for twenty-five dollars. It's at cost. Yeah. I don't, you know, it's it's the restaurant's busy enough. It's not like we don't want to be able to make more money, but it's an added bonus for people to sort of have an experience that they might not have elsewhere. February is Black History Month and an important time to honor African American culture and history. Which brings us to the Museum of African American Art inside the Baldwin Hills Crenshaw Mall in Los Angeles. This unique art space is more than 40 years old and celebrates black history all year long with curated exhibits highlighting the work of world-renowned artists and emerging local artists. To celebrate Black History Month, I went black in the day and got real regarding a moment that shaped my black experience. Hi, I'm Kenya Claiborne, and a moment in history that reaffirmed my blackness, black in the day, was when Michelle Obama became the first lady. From the moment that she entered the White House, she graced us with her style and inspirational speeches. Uh, definitely one of the most progressive first ladies of our generation, she made her mark by coloring outside of the lines. Stylish, intelligent, 
and passionate about her beliefs. She taught us when they go low, we go high. I'm Kenya and this is my Black in the Day. Tell us your favorite Black in the Day moment using the hashtag Black in the Day on social media at Style and Society and tune in next time for another episode of The Stylist, your weekly roundup of the hottest fashions, trends, and pop culture.